Let's factor the equation x squared minus 5x plus 4. And we'll use these guidelines here, these steps here, to help us do that. The first thing we do is we set up a skeleton equation. I've already done that here. Then, once we've got our skeleton, we can add the signs in. If I look at the terms, I see I have a negative in the center here. In the center, in the middle there, if we have that negative, we're going to put negative signs in our skeleton like this. Now we can find the factor. Now we can find the factors for that last term, the 4 here, that should equal the middle term. They'll add up to the middle term. Really, for 4, we could have 1 times 4, and that would actually equal 5. We could do 2 times 2, but that wouldn't work. That wouldn't add up to 5. So let's put 1 and 4 in, and we should have correctly factored x squared minus 5x plus 4. But let's check our work with the FOIL method. First terms, x times x. Outside terms, x times minus 4x. Inside terms, negative 1 times x, that's negative 1x. And last terms, negative 1 times negative 4 gives us a positive 4. We can combine these terms right here. We end up with the same thing we started with. So we know we did this correctly. Let's find the values for x that'll make this side of the equation here 0. 0 equals 0. That's a true statement. So we say x minus 1 equals 0. So x, that equals 1. x minus 4 equals 0. So x would equal 4. If you put 1 in for x, you do the math all of this equals 0. Likewise, if you put 4 in for x and you did the math, all of this would equal 0 as well. And if you use the quadratic equation, you'll get x equals 1 and x equals 4 as well. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 5x plus 4. Thanks for watching.